<laughs> as, a, <laughs> as a token of my love. And as a symbol of our marriage. And as a symbol of our marriage. Do you have personal vows? Yes. <clears throat> They're in my suit. It, it doesn't matter. It does, it does matter. No. <sighs> oh, God. Sorry, sorry. Okay. <clears throat> You are the best looking man that I know. I know a lot of men. <laughs> <sighs> you know, back when, back before we first, um, I said to you that, that you see me, that you get me. You always have. And I know that I get things wrong quite often as well. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, you get things wrong. But when you do, I, I forgive you. No, I'm with you. I... I am better. I'm whole. <laughs> That's me done. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't just that cheeky smile. But the fact that you're proper gobby. Mm. <laughs> and yeah, maybe a bit broken. But you told me, Ben, that whatever my head is telling me to always follow my heart. And today I can't hear anything else. Not yet. Before you, it's like I was put together all wrong. <laughs> you picked me up piece by piece and you put me back together. Just the way I should have been. I promise to speak honestly and to listen. Sometimes. Oh, of course, so. But most importantly, to remember that I am us. Yeah. Before you, Ben, I was so, so lonely. But I ain't lonely anymore. And so, Callum. And Ben, yeah. you have made the declarations prescribed by law and made a solemn and binding contract to one another. It is my very great pleasure to declare that you are now lawfully husband and husband. Come in. <laughs> Today we're here to celebrate Mick and Linda's wedding and to renew their marriage vows. Linda, you want to say something? Uh, yeah, yeah, thank you. Mick and I, um, we, we both wanted, before we leave this pub, which has, has been our home, to share with you, our friends, we both, we, oh, I'm sorry, I had a whole speech. I'd, I'd like to say a few things. I, um, I, I, I had a speech and all. I had a, well, I had a line. I had a, I had a line that I wrote on a bit of paper in the cars. <laughs> um, I'd like to say, well, um, you're all I want. You know, like now, forever. Because there's nothing that compares to. 
that we should never be apart. You know, all this and the, the, the vows and the ceremony, it don't mean nothing. Not really. Because I love you just like I did when I first laid my eyes on you. And um, I love you. And I fancy you. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> um, so. Uh. Oh. Really? What? Mother, I love you and um, your doll. Um, drinks are on your house. Hey. Right now. Try it now. No, well, that's it. The battery's gone then. Oh. Oh. Right. We can't wait an hour, we need it fixed now. No, I've had enough. Just smash the glass and get him out. No, don't do that. We're late anyway. I'm getting a brick. That, no. Oh, all right, all right, everyone. Everyone, this is the Celebrant. Uh, Celebrant, this is everyone. So you did miss your slot, all right? So you're going to have to go back and do the paperwork another time. But but Johnny here... Jeremy. Yeah, uh, he, he's on a break. So so he can do the ceremony for you uh, right here, right now, and we can just go in a bit and get drunk, yeah? Yes, lovely. Yeah. What did I miss? A lot. I've been trying to call you. Wait, 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 wait. What, what are you saying? That we can get married here, in the streets, with him in there? Well, yeah, it's either that or you waste the, the grub that's in the pub and we just do it another day. What's going on? Who's the bow tie? We can get married here! Let's just do it. I want to start our lives together. Yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> Let's do it. May the promises you have made to one another in the presence of your friends and family guide you through your lives together. May it be a life filled with honesty, happiness, devotion, and love. Stuart Marvin Highway and Noreen Cross, it gives me great pleasure to declare that you are now emotionally, if not legally, married. <laughs> there we are! <laughs> right, everyone, the drinks are over there, all right? Now, uh, Johnny, uh, Jeremy, well done, you've been a lifesaver. Thank you. Right, drinks! Oh, Come on! Wait for me! Oi! Wait for me! Oi! It's all right, it's all right. I'll wait, I'll wait. They said the bloke will be here soon with a new battery. Okay. Can I tell you my surprise? Yes! I'm pregnant. What? <laughs> I'm pregnant. Well, for, well, for real? <laughs> well, you, you and me? Yeah. Mum, mum and dad? Yeah. <laughs> This is the best day ever. This is the best uh, day no. ever! Oh, shush, 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 shush. This is the best day ever. We have entrusted our sister Veronica to God's mercy. And we now commit her body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. In sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our frail bodies that they may be conformed to his glorious body. Die, was buried, and rose again for us. To him be glory forever. Amen. I always love you, Mom.
Forgive me, my darling girl. If you could all take a few steps back while we position Roxanne's coffin. Jack, where you going? Jack! Jack, get back here! Think he is, eh? He's upset. People do all sorts of things when they're grieving. She was giving up her daughter so they could go and play happy families. What more does he want from her? I'll go and you um you go. I just want to have a word with Max. Okay. Are you okay? Listen, don't tell Jack. What? Well, I've had cocaine in Roxy's room in the hotel. I think that's how they died. I think she was off her head and Ronnie was trying to save her. I've been trying to figure out a way to tell Jack, but after he walks off like that. But it'll, it'll come out in the inquest, won't it? Yeah, but if he finds out for sure that Roxy's responsible, Stacey's going to kill him. We have come here today to remember before God our sister Patricia Louise Evans, to give thanks for her life, to commit her body to be buried, and to comfort one another in grief. Patricia was a well-respected and much-loved member of the community. She had many friends, but it was to her family that she dedicated her life. And it is to them that we turn now. Uh, Pat asked me to play some music for Sadaya. It was one of our favourites. And uh, my dad liked it as well. I've known Pat all, all my life, you know, since my mum died. My, my dad and I, they got together when we, when we were just kids. You know, all of us. Pat, she, she was like a mother to us. trying to say is that Pat wasn't our mum but she came into our lives and she did the best job that she could do to be the mother that we didn't have anymore 
We didn't always make it easy for her. Well, I... I didn't always make it easy for her, but... Me and her... Oh, we had our ups and our downs, but in those last moments... In those final few seconds, we just forgot all of that. And we forgave each other. And she loved us so much. And we loved her. And I know that we're all really gonna miss her. I'm sorry, Abby. For my dear granddaughter, Abby. To Abby. 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 To Abby. To Abby. To Abby. To Abby. It's time I'm gonna get it right. 